All right, so here we have a Honda uh, pressure washer. You know this was left on the side of the road, garbage pickup. Seems to have good pull. It has spark. Smells like bad gas. So we're going to go ahead and get the motor running now. So looks like we're going to have to pull the carburetor down and do some cleaning. So we're going to go ahead and remove the air box now. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull our air box off. All right, so we have a couple 10 millimeters. There we have our, our vacuum hose here from the air box going back to the crankcase. Oh, no, doesn't want to pop off. All right, so here we have our carburetor. Our choke lever here, we'll go ahead and get that one out. Our throttle on this side. So we have our return spring first. We'll go ahead and get that one off. Now we just have our fuel line hooked up there. All right, so we want to turn our fuel off. All right, so we'll go ahead and this will be our float, this will be our bowl. Uh, our fuel bowl and we'll have our floats inside of it. We're going to go ahead and remove this, see what's good, what we have in there. Nothing. All right, so we didn't even have fuel getting into the, into it. So this would be, okay, here we go. This is our float. So once, it, once the volume of fuel gets enough inside of our, our bowl here, this starts to float and turns it off. Well, it looks like it's a little. All right, so the, that's not working. We gotta take that apart. We're going to see, remove this pin. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and lift it up. Very carefully. I don't want to break anything. All right, so that's our, that's what our float controls inside there. Let's see if we can, all right. Get some brake clean, start spraying it around. All right, so this is where our our fuel came in. All right, so this is where it comes into the bowl. All right, so this would be our main jet. 
All right, we can see it coming out of our main jet. And then this one here inside, these are going to be our air bleeds. This is what adds pressure uh, on the fuel to make it lift. All right. Got me. All right, so it looks like we were just having a problem with our, our float mechanism. All right, we'll go ahead and get her back together. All right, so I just want to make sure that this moves up and down freely. Okay. All right, we have to reattach this. It does, it does latch in. So we want to hang it. Set it back down and put our, our pin back in. All right, so what I like to do is I blow on the fuel side when it's down like this, it's the letting fuel in. When it's up like this, it should block it off. So I should be able to blow through. All right, so we're all working there now. We'll go ahead and put our, our bowl back on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our throttle on and our return spring so you can see the the big one, the mark, one with the mark on it is where our throttle linkage was hooked up and then the other little hole was for our return spring. So we'll go ahead and slip those on now. I put the return spring on. Okay, so this is our choke mechanism right here. Okay, so out closes it. So we'll go ahead and put that one in there. So just make sure we have it on right. So that's open. When we pull that, that's choking it out. All right, so we have that. We have our fuel line. Go ahead and hook our crankcase vent back on. Now we'll see if we can get it started so we have it on the on position. We'll go ahead and turn our fuel back on. Our choke is pulled out as choke. Pulls.
saw that gas. I'm not sure what kind of gas it had in it, but you can see there was a lot of oily. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and let it finish working through. I mean, it looks like the oil's good. We had oil on the filter. The machine could have been upside down or on its side or something. We'll go ahead and we'll run it and we'll get it uh, hopefully not smoking and we'll, we'll try some water on it, see if it has pressure. All right, so we have water hooked up. We do have a leaky hose. We definitely have a lot of water coming from where the unit seals together. We're going to go ahead and just try to start it up and see if it does build any kind of pressure. All right, so it does look like we have some pressure, but we have a whole lot of leaks down there, so we need to address the leaks now. All right, so now that we have our motor running, we see that we have a lot of water leaking uh, in between. We'll go ahead and flip this on its side here. All right, so we'll see, we've seen a lot of water coming from here. We had minimal pressure, uh, but we were definitely leaking here. So there's some gaskets and seals and a rebuild kit for this. We'll go ahead and, uh, and get this thing taken off and a look-see in there. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove these Allens all the way around. There's four of them. All right, so there is a keyway right here. Just want to make sure that the keyway uh, doesn't fall out or get lost or something like that. Looks like ours is still in the in the shaft. All right, so we've seen a lot of the leakage coming from in here. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and break this down. Remove these four bolts here. I don't see what what I'm using here. Uh, Thirteen or I guess a half inch. All right, so here we have our pump, all right? So this would be where, this is where the shaft connects to the engine. So when we spin it down here, we have this, I don't know what, what, do you, what would you call that? A, what would you call that? So we have this kind of an offset plane so basically, as it goes around, it's changing its height. So it'll be one, two, three, and that is how we build the pressure as this goes around it. It drives each one of these plungers down as it makes that, uh, I don't know what you want to call that, as it makes its way around. All right, so we, everything looks good in here. All right, so normally it is pretty pretty oiling in here. This is probably filled up with hydraulic fluid and I can definitely see some hydraulic f fluid. You see some mixed in with the water right there. So this must be where the um, where all the, the uh, oil was to keep all the friction and the heat down. But this other, well there we go. 
pieces where we were leaking. Alright, so here we have all of our new gaskets. Alright, so we just need to identify which ones they are. We can, these pieces here, or this and this, just put together instead of uh, how they came apart. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull these pieces out here. Now they have a little groove on the side, so we can just pop them out. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm going to take this and I'm going to take uh, these and clean them up with a little brake clean, get them all, get them nice and clean so we can put it back together. All right, so now we're ready to put our, our bottom seals in. So we'll go ahead and just put a little lube on them, make it easy to go in. I do have a socket, fits pretty nice over top of it so I can apply even pressure all the way around. Oh, that one flipped as it went in. Flip that back over. All right, so I use the socket. All right. And you can definitely feel them click into place. That one flipped over. All right, so then we want to go ahead and put our other pieces on, they have a little tab off to the side that lines up for each of the little corners here. I mean, no doubt that's where the, oil, where the water was coming from, but from that inner seal, I bet. All right, so this one, we want, to put, we want to put it in face up. It does have a lip on the bottom, so we're going to have to walk that lip in. I use a, I'm going to use a little flathead screwdriver and kind of pinch it in on the one side, and then kind of just keep working it through. All right, so our other one would be over here, and let's see, these guys here, they went down into these grooves. We'll go ahead and lube these up, too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fill up this piece with oil. Um, we're going to use just regular engine oil because it is what we have, uh, probably best. It would be gear lube, but it should do the trick. All right, so we'll go ahead and take this. We'll put these on together. I should be able to flip this over and nothing All right, falls out. All right, so we'll go ahead and All right, so we've pressed and got our press together. I'm going to go ahead and set my bolts in there. All right, and this will be my pattern.
Okay, so first I just want to go ahead and get all the screws started. So I'll start one corner to the other. All right, so now we are ready to uh, put the unit back onto the uh, motor. All right, so we can line this up a couple different ways. I'm gonna put the hose side on this side. This was the original way it came out. All right, so we wanna line our keyways up. All right, so now we have our pump all back together. All right, so now we have our water hooked up. Pretty good sign there, nothing's flowing out of the bottom of the pump. We'll go ahead and start it up now. You're ready, right? 